This is the Lane Motor Museum, home of the one and only Gyro X. The Gyro X is a two-wheeled prototype vehicle. Developed in the 1960s, it was proposed as a solution for the future of transportation. The car balances on two wheels through the use of a gyroscope under its hood. A gyroscope is a device consisting of a rapidly spinning wheel or disc mounted so that its axis can turn freely in all directions. As the axis turns, the wheel remains stationary. Gyroscopes can be used for measuring and maintaining orientation. So the car was developed in 1966 and 1967 by two very famous people, Tom Summers and Alex Tremulis. Alex Tremulis was a car designer, well known for his work as Ford's styling director. Thomas Summers was a gyroscope expert who had integrated the technology into missile navigation systems during World War II. They both lived in the LA area and they became kind of friends and they were always interested in developing a gyroscopically balanced car. So in 66 and 67, they got about three quarters of a million dollars from investors to develop this car. The duo believed that the Gyro X could solve many of the issues presented by cars at the time. The car would be safer because it would be more stable, it wouldn't skid, it wouldn't slide. The car would also be more aerodynamic than a typical car of that era. Also, it would be half the width of a normal car at that time, and so you could put twice as many cars on the existing roads. Unfortunately, the Gyro X was deemed unstable, a result of its complex engineering that was still years away from being perfected. Tremulous and Summers company, Gyro Transport Systems, would go bankrupt around 1970, before the vehicle ever reached production. So the way the Gyro works is it's hydraulically driven off of the motor. So the motor sits right behind the front seat traversely. It's a mini motor. There's a hydraulic pump that's on the engine and then there's a, a hydraulic like receiver, the opposite of a pump that is inside the sphere of the gyro. So when the motor runs, it produces hydraulic pressure that spins the gyro up. It's a 17 inch flywheel. It weighs about 230 pounds. It spins inside of this sphere. So one of the questions you might ask, well, what happened if the motor stalls? The thing you have to understand is because of the weight of the gyro, it will actually spin for about two hours with no power to it. That's how much energy it has in it. When Jeff acquired the car, it was a shell of its former self. It was even missing its gyroscope. So a third wheel had been added to balance it out. Uh, we bought the Gyro X in 2011. A lot of the car was, was changed or just literally gone. So the car really needed a lot, a lot of work to be restored to what it was back in 1967. It took six years, that's the long and short of it, and really we knew from the beginning that the most challenging part of doing the restoration was going to be able to build a gyro. We finally found a company from Italy that actually builds gyroscopes to stabilize large yachts from rocking when they're in the ocean. I would say we've gotten it to work as well as it probably ever did, so we've decided that we're not going to drive it on public roads and we're going to drive it like at shows, uh, maybe in the areas where there's not other traffic and things like that. And we're not going to drive it above 30 miles an hour because we really figured out to make the car go 50 or 60 or 70 uh, highway speed that really you need to redesign the whole car. And because this is such an historical car, we don't want to destroy it and, and really make it a car that it's not. We're trying to keep it very close to what it was originally in 1967. 